Hello everyone, MasterZeon1001 here, and in this video to commemorate the release of BoxCutter 716, I wanted to do an installation video. So when it comes to updating, the easiest way to do it is to just go into your add-ons and preferences and locate the previous version of BoxCutter and just remove it. So we were using version 71 v We're going to go ahead and get rid of that. And under installation, we can go and locate our download, which in my case is going to be under tools, and we can go ahead and install box cutter. And once we enable the add-on, we should be good to go. However, hovering over the tooltip shows that the previous box cutter settings have still taken hold. So for this, I will go ahead and close Blender and then reopen it again. I'm using the Steam version for this since I like to keep my 2.83 pretty pure. And if we reopen Blender, and hover over the tooltip, we can now see that the tooltip has been updated, meaning that when we open box cutter, it has now been updated. So this is a rather unique update in which sometimes you may have to find yourself closing and reopening Blender in order for the update to take hold if you're replacing it on the fly. But that covers um, installation and update for box cutter 716. Happy box cutting.